Hey, this is Martin Brennan, Product Manager of Imagineer Systems, and welcome to Tip Bundle number 3. This is where we take the tips we post online and convert them into three short tutorials for your viewing pleasure. If you're not familiar with the Mocha Tips, you can follow them with the hashtag Mocha Tips on our Twitter feed, or you can go to Facebook at facebook.com slash Imagineer Systems. So, let's start off with an appropriate one while watching a video. Okay, so maybe you have had some great augmentations put in that make your eyes and brain not burn after doing a job for hours on end, or maybe you're still mostly human and you need to take a rest. Get up, make a beverage of appropriate comfort levels, and just chill for a few minutes. Or go outside, take a walk in nature, make friends with a squirrel, who knows? You may just solve that problem you've been having with a shot just by letting your eyes wander and your mind relax. Heck, why not do it right now? Pause this video, grab a cup of something, and I can wait. The grid is a very useful visual tool, but it's also handy to adjust its lines for the task at hand. You can do this by going up to your viewer preferences in the top right hand corner, or you can go to the view menu and choose viewer preferences. A large amount of lines may be useful for when you're trying to line up very tricky tracks where you've got to check for drift with small details, and an odd number of dividers lets you set up a crosshair in the middle of your surface. So for example, if I set this up to be 1 and 1, you get a nice central line straight through the middle of your surface. So if I click back in here and we adjust our surface now, you'll see that when I adjust the surface, this central point is always staying right in the middle of those four corners, which is really handy if you need to lock down a transform. And of course, we don't just recommend adjusting your grid, we recommend actually using it. So when you start a track, it's best to turn on your grid at the beginning so you can see how your track is going. So for example, if I just turn off my layer here and I draw a new layer, let's just say up on this wall, and I'm going to adjust my grid to say 3 and 3, just to give myself a little bit more detail, I can then start my track and see how my track is going a lot easier by having that grid on. If you have the surface and the grid off, it's actually a lot harder to see how that track is going. Ever had one of those rush jobs where you feel like you have to adjust almost every frame? It might be time to rethink the shot and try a different approach. You can delete your layer, or hide it if you want to keep trying later, and start afresh. Often the pains you had the first time will let you see a new way for doing the shot with less hassle. Of course, if a shot is still doing your head in, please refer back to tip number 7. So that was tip bundle number 3. If you've got any feedback, let us know in the comments where we post the videos, or let us know on Facebook or the forums. As always, you can check out Mocha Tips on facebook.com slash Imagineer Systems, or the Mocha Tips hashtag on Twitter. This has been Martin Brennand, Product Manager for Imagineer Systems.